Yeah, 2023 is here. Today's the first day of 2023. It's Sunday. And I um, had church this morning, ate at my sister's house. And I feel like going and trying to catch my first fish of the year. It's actually like 60 degrees outside. I went uh, on Friday and did my last fishing trip of 2022. And I caught a couple interesting fish. So I'm gonna show you those fish and I'm gonna go home and change and grab a fishing pole and we're gonna head to the creek. All right, we got some good water flow coming out. The water's super clear. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the fish we're looking for. That's the fish we're looking for today, or I'm looking for. Oh yeah, it's a slab, jumbo perch. Dude, you got a tape measure? You wanna take this home? Oh, yes. I was just working my way, letting my little lure drift. There's a lot of current. Oh, that's at least a 10 inch. That may be 11 inch perch. Dude, that looks more like those uh, peacock bass, something exotic than something that, that lives here naturally. That's a really nice fish right there. All right, let's see if we can get some more. Oh! Oh, I saw that fish eat it. What is that? He's right off the bank. It's a bass. Huh. I just saw this fish come out and like, right in the rocks, eat this thing. That's a nice little bass. <laughs> That's about a pound. Oh, the hook came out. That's a, that's a largemouth too. I don't know if I've ever caught a largemouth this late in the year, this cold up at this area. Just hit it, a pretty fish, probably 12 inches long, thick too. So I got my ultralight rod over here and we're about to go see if these fish are active because just a week ago it was, this area was froze over. I'm hoping it's thawed out, it should be, and see how active these fish are. All right, we're going in here. The water is really clear. Going in here to see what we can get to start this new year off. Fish on, fish on. Yes, sir. Yep, that's what I thought. We had a bunch of little, well, not a bunch. I've already had like two or three little hits that I've missed. Some bluegill, some small bluegill. First fish of the year, I gotta get a picture of that. All right, that, that fish was pretty active. This water must have come up some, especially um, with these sun been out these last couple days, really has changed the thing. Oh, number two, two in a row. Just a week ago, we had it below zero, like a few days. And my buddy Chris was here, came here, and he said this was frozen over, couldn't even cast in. So I went from, in a week, probably less than a week from being iced over to where I'm catching here, catching fish right now. Yeah. Get these. Look at Well, these guys are active over here. There might be a few other fish in there. I don't know. Usually there's lots of different fish that are hanging around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a nice bluegill. Ooh, we swallowed that lure. I just cast over here on this other side and we upsized a bit. That is a little chunk one. No doubt about him. He didn't peck at it, he swallowed it. These guys are kind of hungry. Oh man, I got thumped it. What is that? Oh, a little crappie. That dude actually thumped that thing. That's a hard hit. Uh, and it's the, uh, the I forget what they call it again. Is it Magnolia? I caught one of these the other day. Some people were talking about it and I forgot what it, we called them. 
don't know if they call them black nose. I think black nose is referring to, that's when they call, maybe black nose and magnolia. One or the other, but that's a tiny one. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. There's, here we go. We're right on this fish. This is, this is exactly what I was hoping for. It's better than I hoped for. I was just hoping to get over here and catch a couple fish today. I'm like, man, it's nice outside. It's too nice. Usually on Sunday after church, I'll just take a nap, relax, try not to do much, but it was too nice out today. I had to get out here and try to fish just cause you never, this, during the winter time, it changes up and down so fast. If we got a few warm days, you better take advantage of it cause them fish get really active. Oh, I missed one. And then they can like shut down right away again. Another cold spell come in. Oh, what is that? Come on. Nice, another crappie. Man, just a regular black crappie. Little guys, these aren't like slabs by no means, but it's fun to find these guys. They're in these little, little creeks and where they, you know, usually they'll stay here till they get big. A lot of times by the time they get big, then they kind of work their way down to the river, work their way out to the really deeper holes. But they get up in these small areas where they can grow away from being pressured and stuff. Right, by big catfish. So in the river, big catfish, striper, big bass, all kinds of stuff can eat them. In these little creeks, they don't have to deal with too many big predators chasing them down. Gotcha. Oh, he's fighting good. Oh, that's a good bluegill. Uh, when I say good bluegill, you know, a lot of times I just, yeah, it looks, it's a nice looking bluegill, but like just a good size to it. You know, that is not a giant, but for, like I said, these small creek areas, this is a, this is a, it's not one of those tiny ones I've been catching. It's just a thicker one, a little bigger. What you got? Yeah, I don't know there. About to pull me into the log right there. Chunky little bluegill. I'm gonna try over here. I haven't tried on this side. I don't know if I've ever fished over here on this side before, but it doesn't look as deep. I think all the, that's why that one spot over there holds all those fish. It's just like a deep little hole for this creek it looks pretty shallow through here and i'm uh i'm using a it's a little trout magnet jig head and a little Bob, bobby Gollin slab hunter 80 bit i got two pound and this is a mono it's Cortland mono camouflage so it's like it's really hard to see because it's camouflage where it changes colors so some it'll look like a line then all of a sudden it goes visible because it blends in this is a six foot ultralight rod that um b, &B custom outdoors I um, mean, Georgia made for me uh, a few years, a couple years ago. And there's a Fluger reel, just one of the smaller ones. I don't really like this reel that much. It's almost too small, but um, I had it and I threw this line on there so I could, you know, use it. So that's what I'm setting up. That's what my setup is. And kind of that's why I'm throwing this little lure just to target anything I can catch. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice hit. A good fighting bluegill, I think. Yeah. I just kind of came down. I, did, I was fishing that spot over there on the upside of this. There's a big log there. I don't know if you can see it. But this is where like this deep section is. I hit a couple other spots. Couldn't find any other deep spots really around. Usually if you throw, you cast a couple of times into a, a deep hole, there's something's going to peck it pretty quick. You're going to kind of know a lot of times, not every time. But obviously I knew that there was a lot of fish on that side. That's like one or two casts over here on this other side of this log jam and a big, a nice bluegill just thumps it. Okay, there we go. What is that? Oh, Shiner, okay. Well, there's a few different species. Oh, get back in there. It's got a bluegill, crappie, Shiner. 
Mm. The big bluegill, or the, the bigger ones that are in here are really eating it good. It's like I'll make a, that's why I'm like catch, catching them first. I think there's a few, and then there's just a ton of little bluegill. They're swallowing that lure, that guy. No doubt about it. Pretty thick. Let's just see if I can make a few more casts. This is a bigger, another big area. I haven't been to this area in a while. Same creek, different spot. Oh, fish on, fish on. What'd I get? Oh, wow. A red breast. Pretty one too. They're not normally as active in the winter time. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, I was gonna take a picture, but got out of my hands. I moved up to this other spot here, and I figured I'd, it's another like big area. Like if I gotta find somewhere there, maybe some fish congregated. So there's one, let's see if we can get anything else. I threw a spinner bait around for a handful of casts. Nothing on it. Kind of tossing the mouth of that little bitty creek coming into this big creek. There's looks like a good, Looks like it may be a little deeper there. Definitely, it should be like a feeding area. Oh, oh, there's some. Yeah. Oh, come on, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's a nice bluegill. Now that's more like it. That's a good bluegill. Pretty colors on it. Thick, good fighting fish right up there. All right, there's two good fish right here. There's another one. There's another one. Dude, these, oh, these fish are fighting good. Oh, oh come here, another nice bluegill. Boy, I'm glad I tried this spot. I just kind of was like, let me try there. Gotta, I'm always looking. Even in, even the creek like this, this creek is not even very far from my house. I don't think I've ever stood here and cast it here. I kind of, I'd fished other parts of it, but I never fished right here. I'm like, I don't know, sometimes I get so caught up searching, looking further away that I gotta keep remembering that some of these little creeks in your own backyard within 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes of your house, it's easy to overlook them. Like, yeah, maybe I tried it one time. Just go back there and try it again. Mm, there's one. Oh, that's a nice bluegill. Get over here, get over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh man, that's a nice one. That's at least like a seven inch bluegill. Good, thick one. I'm fishing that lure so slow through there. I can't tell how deep it is. That's maybe four feet deep. And dude, the bites I've gotten, I'm just like very, I'm not feeling like I've hit. It's just, the fish are just holding on to it, but they're swallowing it and, and holding on to it pretty good. That way when I pick up on them, I'm like, oh, there's a the fish there. Man, I've made several casts. You know, I've caught, I think, four fish there, but I've had to really work it slow. And um, there's fishing line hanging there. There's a shaky head right up there on, on a broke off line. There was a bobber somewhere I saw. So this is one of those places like people will come here. I'm sure people come here and catch a lot of fish. And I imagine that people catch bass here. That's a bass lure up there. That's fish on. That's a fish. Oh, hoo, hoo. man, these are good ones over here. A lot of fish out here. I see lots of places where people. This is a bank gets fished a lot. Makes me want to just keep on exploring more of it. Now this was a great start to 2023. First fishing trip at a creek, and I caught some fish. Caught good fish. Hit a couple spots, caught a bunch of good bluegill, a couple crappie, caught a bunch of little bluegill too. But um, this is the kind of stuff I like to do. Now, if, it's, if you're new to my channel or if you're old timer at my channel, um, I love creeks. Now this is a decent, this is a this is a medium sized creek, I'd say. There's spots on it. It looks pretty wide right here. This is a wide area. And there's some spots where it's ankle deep. And then there's some big, there's some holes maybe four or five feet deep, you know. Um, 
but some of these places around me, like I will pass up on some of these sometimes to go drive a couple hours to some really beautiful looking creeks where these are mud bank and kind of different, but I'm gonna really obviously do a lot of creek fishing this year, but I wanna do a lot more around these areas closer to my house, maybe places I've kind of passed up. I'm gonna get in here and I got a kayak now that Crescent Shoal to kind of get in these kind of creeks and start exploring more. Thanks for watching. Hopefully a bunch of creek fishing coming this year.